hello there monochrome here welcome back this is going to be a short video as well if you use gnome and you also use firefox web browser then this video is for you if you use some other desktop environment or another browser this is not going to be useful for you so you can click away right now <coughs> if you use gnome uh, a lot of the gnome applications like the core gnome applications are all based on a thing called libadweta so all of them look exactly the same design wise and it is very coherent i kind of like that but uh, one of the major applications that everyone uses on the system is a web browser and here let's consider firefox as an example let's open up firefox esr which is like the default version of firefox that you get on debian stable i do have a flat pack version of it installed but i have already modified it so I'm just going to show you a default fresh install first, then show you the modified one. And I'll open up this as well. This is how Firefox would look by default. Then you'll see some ads as well. I just disabled this here. Apart from that, I have not done anything. And this does not look like a GNOME application. So here is GNOME Web. This is basically a browser made by the GNOME developers itself. So it does look exactly like how you would expect a browser to look. If it was made by gnome as you can see like the overview i think is this is called an overview i don't i don't know <laughs> this thing and the hamburger menu here also they all look identical so why can't we just use this browser instead well the thing is that this browser sucks and it doesn't have any of the major features and it's based on uh, i think the safari kind of backend what is it called uh, i forgot it, it was an old thing it's an old thing it doesn't ha have all the features that firefox or chromium has so and it's quite slow as well to load uh, web pages and view youtube would suck on this as well so this is not a great browser but it looks good so how do we get this look without it sucking so that's where the whole video comes uh, let's open a browser and go to I Firefox you know theme search for that and you will find this page this is basically a Firefox theme as you can as you know Firefox is very customizable so you can change the way it looks you install this theme onto Firefox so that it looks like a gnome application here are some images of it uh, the installation is basically just git clone and then do these and then just run the script uh, you could also run these depending upon if you have a, a flat pack or a regular application but uh, instead of doing all of that you can also just run this one single line and it will just do it every do everything for you this is what i use because it's super simple uh, if you're concerned about your security and privacy and you want to like read all the scripts before you run it then do this instead i guess but if you don't give enough shits then copy this i, I trust this developer anyway so it's not really that big of a deal i can just run this i just copy this guy and i open up a terminal just hit Uh, hit enter here and that should be enough i'm not gonna do it because i have already uh well I, uh, let's see let's see how it goes see it's done nothing has changed here I just close firefox and then let's see what happens if you open it yep it's already set up it's a bit broken here because firefox esr is an older version of firefox if you go down to I think help yeah about Firefox it's uh, 102 that is not the latest version of Firefox so that's why the theme is kind of broken here if you use a regular Firefox uh, then this theme will work out of the box so let me just open up my regular Firefox so uh, that you can see the theme this is how it would look on regular Firefox and it looks pretty much like a GNOME application. You you see that the overview menu and everything looks good, but there is one major problem uh, with with this theme. 
can you see that there is only one tab but there is this big ass ta tab thingy but if you have multiple tabs then it, yeah it kind of shrinks down if you look at the comparison which is well gnome web do you see a difference my friend if there is only one tab let's go to something like uh, google.com or something like that as you can see there is only one tab and it's loading a web page this does not exist here let's open up the, the same uh, website as well see so to fix this thankfully there is a way uh, here if you add another tab then it looks pretty much identical to how firefox looks at the moment so the only problem here is to get rid of this when there is only one tab which thankfully is very simple go back to the uh what was it again firefox you know uh, theme uh, github repository is my internet down no scroll down and you'll be able to find a small section here called enabling optional features there are some optional features that you can add of which the one that we want is on the top it's called hide single tab and i'm not sure why it is not default uh, but all we have to do is just copy this then open up a new tab and go to about config paste that guy in here and uh, as you can see there will be this line double click this to set it to true you can also use this button to set it to true doesn't matter once you have done it uh, if you don't have this thing enabled there is it's going to be like this uh, you know since you haven't had this thing it will be like this with boolean number string and then a plus click on the plus so that it becomes like this and then set it to true if it is not set to true i think it is set to true by default but uh, once this is, this is set to true you can just close the file browser uh, i mean close the firefox window and then you come back it becomes like gnome web it is not really any different from gnome web at this point but you get to use uh, all these extensions that you get on firefox that gnome web just crash well it did a lot of applications are crashing on me so here we go it looks pretty much identical it even takes up the same kind of like depth as well so it's pretty much identical in many ways even the glyphs like these the close button the new tab button this you'll have to add it yourself by the way i'll show you that since we removed since in firefox by default the new tab button is like here but since we are we are removing this you will not be able to do that so go to customize just right click on any of this place right click any of this uh, blank area will have a customize option and this is going to be somewhere here like this so just drag that on to here just just the way it is on gnome web and then click done that's all you need to do and now you got something that looks pretty much identical to gnome web and it looks very good but also is actually functional because it's firefox and not gnome web that's pretty much it and I'll see you in another video.